showcases I had was for the Wheelwright Museum and the owner and manager then, Rob Lucas, uh, he would ask me to open a lot of their their showcases, which was, uh, you know, like if they had a big um, um, event going on or some kind of um, members only um, uh, gala, and he would just come and say, come play for me. And eventually I just grew on to it, you know, I just, nobody taught me, nobody sat me down and look, this is this key, this is that key. Um, I learned all, all this on my own through being interested, you know, I was interested and this one was the first one to come to me and, and lo and behold, I have four others which uh, guide me. I would say they're they're guides because once you blow on it, it's something totally different. It uh, connects people, feelings, and places. And if you're feeling down, it it tends to bring you up. And if you're feeling weak, it tends to give you medicine you need. Or you know, it's just a good good sound to have around you. It's a good feeling to. Uh, being able to play, you know, I feel blessed just by picking it up and learning how to play. You know, not many people can do that. It's, it's very hard. And people think I, I've been doing this for uh, over 20 years and I barely picked it up like uh, five years ago, four years ago, you know, max. I went selling in Santa Fe and I, I saw this flute in the shop. And I said, you know, how much you want for this flute, you know? So here goes Isaac bartering, and I traded for my first flute. You know, he took one of my pieces, and I took this. And eventually, I uh, gained good friendship from, from that uh, store that I bought this flute from. And I acquired two more from him, you know. So good friend. He's gone now. He's gone. Okay, here we go. <sighs> 